Hey, everyone, we're here for our last wind down Woo! of the season. Eight of these things, can you believe it? Oh, my God. I'm um, joined once again by Issa's ride or die, Molly, the actress Yvonne Orji. Woo! Hello guys. This was an eventful season, and we are so excited to get into it. This episode has Issa going for it professionally and feeling comfortable with her friends, even as she faces down 30. Y'all, Nathan came back. Where he been at? He ghosted. I don't know, B, you sent him away, so, yeah. like, why, what was up with that? Because he had no right, girl, it's your 30th birthday. Why are you, why are you like, because you talk about this, too, like it's a real dude? Girl, it was your 30th, and I was just looking out for you. When you're not calling or texting for a whole month, get out of here. No, you don't care about me. I don't, I don't care what's going on in your life. Do better. But it was rooted in other things. Like, Molly was bringing her own baggage into Issa's thing. L let me be real. Real? <laughs> look, look, look. I can give her a look like, huh? Real me appreciates Molly's gesture. Because... Okay. But Issa was spun out over this dude. She's at a point where she's like, I want to make decisions for myself, and I want to have clarity. And it felt like Molly was bringing her own mm -hmm. issues. But it was a bad decision. Like, what like, was a bad decision? Here's the thing. I feel like Molly's like, girl, you deserve the best. Like, Molly thinks the world of Issa. She thinks that, like, we, if we're going to be adults, we should be the same way, like, Dro was trash. Like, oh, you just going to have a baby again? Well, then but you didn't even give him a chance to explain. It doesn't matter. There's a whole child coming. I think Molly, too, sometimes especially given what she said in episode seven about, like, dudes are going to say whatever they... You don't need to hear his explanation. That's true. You don't, that's you don't have to hear whatever he said, because he's going to say whatever's going to sound right to make a whole month of disappearing sound amazing. Right. Or normal. And girls fall for it all the time, and I think that's where Molly's coming from. So it, it love... reads as negative. You love Well, her. no, I love that Molly does not ride for Daniel. She does not ride for Nathan. But she fucks with Lawrence. I think Molly is OK with... Lawrence not being in the picture. That's why. That's why she was like, "Oh, we back. We good? Like, how do we feel?" But I think she's not okay with Nathan being the replacement. So the one thing that we always talked about in the room, we wanted to say like Molly after three years, like we wanted to kind of put Molly into a relationship or at least the, the, the like the blossoming of mm -hmm. something that could be like, "Oh, could this work?" And we went in the room a lot of times about should he be white? <laughs> should he be this? Should he be that? And who would this be? And if he was Asian, like like what does that do for a character to like, kind of like take? out of her comfort zone. I think with Molly, we've always kind of like challenged her way of thinking, right? Yes. Like, okay, if it's not a fairy tale, is that okay? Okay, if it's not, does it have to be this sort of like, you know, I'm in an open relationship type of thing? Yeah. And so the idea of Andrew came up and we really were sort of like, we really want to make sure that we don't just make Molly be this sort of tragic <laughs> woman who Shakespeare can't be in a relationship. Yeah. You know, but that was a real thing for us and we wanted to sort of give it, you know, we were like, okay, but if it is going to be a guy who's not black, mm -hmm. how do we explore that? And I think we... In a way yeah. that hasn't been explored yeah. before. And I think Alexander, the guy who plays Andrew, he's great in so many ways. And I think mm -hmm. Molly, Molly's that chick who might need somebody when she's like, hey, yeah, to be like, you need a hug? Don't make me hug you. You know, like, right. she's, she's that chick that, like, needs the reverse of whatever she's doing. Right. The finale, in a way, just listening to it is like, oh, there's a lot of, an there are a lot of people getting answers, right? Like, Andrew's kind of getting some answers about where Molly is. Issa's getting some an answers sort of about where Nathan is. And even Lawrence is sort of getting some answers about where either Issa is and his stuff with Condola. So I think it's really interesting that everybody's sort of getting a chance to, like, say, here's, here's what the situations are. Now what are you going to do? This season, specifically, because you brought up Lawrence, has felt like, very much a setup season. Like, I'm not trying to say, like, we the wire or some shit, but in the wire, <laughs> we're not. But, but we the, might wire be the wire season two so we might be the wire, though. was just like, what is this? Like, what is what do these white people have to do with these black people mm -hmm. that we actually all season one? And I feel like this very much in season three, we've been planting a lot of seeds mm -hmm. to grow in season four with, you know, Lawrence, obviously. Um, considering Issa, considering, like, given what yeah. what happened with Chad and him going back to Leah, just like, should I? Can I go yeah. back? And then getting his answer, mm, I can't go back. I'm going to pursue it in this way mm -hmm. and what that's going to lead to to season mm -hmm. four. And then, obviously, Andrew and Nathan living together and Molly pursuing yeah. Andrew, what that means for Issa and Nathan yeah. and mm -hmm. even Issa and Molly's relationship. So it's very exciting to see where we're going to take things in the future. For sure. But what's fun about that is typically we've always had, you know, the, their relationships is like, okay, Issa's dating this guy, Molly's dating this guy, and, the, and like never the twain shall sort of meet. Mm. But what's interesting now is like, what would this friendship be like? And they've always well, shared stuff. And well, what is this like, if Issa's like, well, I don't want to share with me and Anthony to do it because I don't want Molly to have a judgment of Molly if she's dating mm, Andrew, like, you know. Right. So it's a, it'll be fun to see how this dynamic maybe this, plays out. This sounds really messy, guys. Guys, that's where we're going to And then one, and then what if one relationship works out better than the other? Then that's real life. Yeah. That's, that's real life. Real. That's real Ooh. life. Y'all, we made it toast to hey. the last hey. episode hey. of the season. Hey. Hey. 
Thank tips. you guys all for joining us for our wind downs this season. We loved making this season and hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. So cheers. Cheers. I hope you're taking shots at home. Ooh. Ooh. Oh.